Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm getting into part four of my makeup collection series. And um, today we're gonna be touching on powders. Powders is my least favorite part, um, but it's a part of my collection, so I have to show that in a video. Um, so this one's not gonna be as fun as some of the other ones, but I want to include those just because, you know, it's a part of it. So. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Lainey and welcome to my channel. If you guys have missed any of my previous videos, um, go ahead and check those out um, for the series. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first off, we're going to start with pressed powders. Okay, so I have five to show you guys that are pressed. Um, so this first one is the Makeup Revolution Bacon Blot Powder. This is in translucent. These pressed powders I like to use to set my under eyes because loose powders are really heavy under the eyes and they make my eyes feel very, very heavy, like I just said. But they make mine feel very heavy and sometimes suffocated because I have dry skin but um you guys can tell i've used a little bit of this i like this so far um i've been testing out new newer pressed powders because i kind of stick to the ones that i love and know um but yeah this is a really really good powder all right next up we have two of the essence all about matte compact fixing powders this is my broken one um but these are amazing um, in my opinion, they have a little bit of a chalky feel to them. It may, that may throw you guys off, but I love the way that this feels under the eyes. It sets the makeup down so easily. This, these are my, I have another one that's at my boyfriend's house, so I technically have three. Um, but I love these. They are so good. I've already hit pan on one. That's why I had to go repurchase more. And that's why I purchased three because I went through that one so fast. That first one so fast. And these are inexpensive. I think I got these for like $2.49 a piece. They were on sale then. But even when they're not on sale, they're like $5 a piece. So they are really, really good and they last you a long time. And I love these. So I highly recommend these. All right, next up, they don't consider this as an under eye setting powder, but I use it as an under eye setting powder. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Reserve Your Cabana, I think. Um, and you guys know, if I hit pan on something, that means I love it. And I have definitely hit pan. Um, but I love this powder. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, so it definitely will brighten that under eye for you and give you that pretty glow that you're wanting. If you want a glow, um, but if not, it sets it down so great. Like, I am so glad that I looked up to Kelly Strack because she's the one that got me on this, onto this, and I love it. Okay, my last pressed powder is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Translucent Powder. I love this. This is probably number two in, um, behind the Essence one. This is so, so good. I can use this on my entire face and my under eyes, and it works like a dream. It sets everything down, nothing moves, nothing creases, and that's what I love about this. It's so good, so inexpensive, and I just love it. Okay, and now we're getting into my loose powder. So this first one is by Hard Candy, and this is their Shin Envy, she, sorry, Sheer Envy Loose Powder in the shade Translucent. I've used this a couple of times. Don't know my initial thoughts on them yet just because I'm new to it. Um, but this is very inexpensive, so. All right, next up I have the e.l.f. Um, HD Powder. I've been wanting to try this for so long, um, but I haven't, have I used this yet? No, I have not used this yet. This is brand new to me. I have never tried it. Um, but I had just, I've been wanting to try this for such a long time and never have. Um, and I finally went out and bought it, so I can't wait to try it. Let's stay on the e.l.f. train. Um, this is my last e.l.f. powder. Um, this is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I have it in the shade Light Pink. And I was kind of hesitant on getting this shade just because pink. But it is very beautiful. It's actually on my skin today. 
um, but I love this so much. It is very, very nice. Um, has a little sheen to it when you put it on the skin, so it's not like mattifying your skin. It's giving it a little bit of a sheen, but it's not like overly shiny. Um, I love this so much. It is really, really good and very inexpensive. All right, next up I pulled this guy. This is the Bella Pierre Cosmetics HD Finishing Powder, and this is in the shade Translucent. I got this in a glassy box a couple months ago, and I am actually, I actually put this in my everyday makeup drawer so that I can try this because I have not tried it yet, and I really, really want to. I'd never heard of this brand before, so I'm excited to try this and um, give my initial thoughts. Okay, next up I have two powders from I Heart Revolution, and they are both the same one, just different scents. Um, they are the Scented Baking Powders. This one is in Peach, and this one is in Coconut. My favorite is Peach because it has a nice little fragrance to it, and it has a slight peachy undertone to it, um, and sets the makeup down really, really well. The coconut sets it down really well as well, but I don't like the smell of coconut. Um, but this one is more of the translucent shade, so this one I tend to use more just because it's more on the translucent side. But if I had to choose one, the peach one is by far my favorite, but they are both still really, really good. Okay, next up I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. This is a really, really good powder. Um, I've also been diving in and trying new, like, newer powders to me because I have stuck with the same powders for so long because I knew it worked for my skin and if I try different powders it sometimes makes my skin break out and dries my skin out and I really don't want that since my skin is already really really dry I don't really want that so um this is a really really good powder though and it's like I think I got it for like five dollars so so good all right next up we have the all things known Cody Airspun um loose face powder some just fell out <laughs> um this is a really, really good powder for somebody with more oilier skin than me. I don't ever really use this just because how heavy the powder is. Um, so if you have more oily skin, this will dry you up really, really quick. Um, I have it in the sh in translucent extra coverage. This one is not my favorite. I have tried this one and another one. The one before that was my favorite. I think it was naturally neutral i think that one was my favorite it was so so nice and very good on my skin um this one is okay it's not my favorite though um also the smell is very intense so that's another reason why i don't use it that much <laughs> all right next up we have the covergirl true blend minerals loose mineral powder this is my last powder okay um um, I got this because of Kelly Strack. I love Kelly Strack and her opinions on makeup. Um, I got this because she said that she uses this as like an all over setting powder sometimes, or under eye setting powder sometimes. And I was like, hmm, well let me try that because she has dry skin like I do. So I was like, well if it works for her and she's got dry skin, let me try it because it may work for me as well. Um, and it did, it works really, really good. This is a little bit too dark for my under eyes though. But I use this for the entire face and sometimes I will set underneath the eyes. Especially if like I have a little tan like I kind of do right now. Um, but I love this powder. It's so, so good. Alright guys, so that is it for part four. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, wasn't very that fun. <laughs> wasn't, that, wasn't that very fun? No, was not. <laughs> but um, I had to get that over with. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in part five.